Hear ye, hear ye. What's a royal pageant without banners flying and pennants waving? Penance, not peasants. It's time we created banners to represent our families, the houses. These banners will be used at masses and special events for years to come, and making them couldn't be easier. We'll have the banners sized and sewn and the lettering for your banner title already outlined for you. We're also supplying the time and materials for you to assemble them. All you need to do is apply your creativity to designing the icons and symbols that represent your saint's unique qualities. What are your saint's unique qualities? Well, hopefully you've already been told, read about, or maybe even discussed your saint. If not, now's a great time to start. If you know the two or three most interesting facts about your saint and who they're the patron is for, you're well on your way to designing your banner. So what's the first step? Just select your background color. How could you possibly choose? Well, we narrowed it down to red, gold, white, or blue. Roses are red, oceans are blue, yellow is sunny is, well, you get the idea. It's symbolic, so just make your best guess for the color that will make a bold statement about your saint's meaning. That's all there is to it. This morning, get together with a couple other students who can help, make your choice for the background color, and then tell your house teacher before lunch today so we can get your banners made. Be sure to ask your house teachers for the information sheet and banner templates so you can see the next steps. If you have any questions, see Mr. Lyons, Mrs. Jansen, or Mrs. Nutt. Thanks for designing the legacy of Rosary Academy.